Hey guys, um, flew by Faith Garden to table and welcome to my garden. So today I came out into the garden to do some work and I decided to <laughs> pause what I was doing to bring you guys along just so you can see. I am allowing my hunting dog there into the garden with me today um, because he was like hunting out any creepy crawlies or whatever because the sun has been out for a couple of days now so we all know that that kind of brings out all kinds of slithers lizards and snakes so um but just kind of came out to clean up the garden you see it's a few things that i'm gonna have to pull up straighten up i've been fixing my my cloth here i had a tarp there i pulled it up all that's gonna go into the trash and i put down some landscape fabric i need to get a few more pins but i'm also i uh, got my soaker hose going but one of the big things that i wanted to show you guys of course i'm out here with some seeds but what i wanted to show you is i was watching the humble servants homestead and he was showing how he was going to grow his sugar snap peas up his fence and i was like oh that's a pretty good idea so what i did was use my bulb digger and i put a few holes here actually i put six holes so and then i stuck these poles in the ground so here i'm going to experiment with the three cucumbers that I'm going to grow this year. So I'm going to plant the cucumber right next to the pole and trellis it up the pole as well as the fence. And then in this area of the fence, you see I use the digger and I'm going to put a little fertilizer in there. Um, I'm going to put some butter peas there. And I'm going to let them grow up this portion of the fence that way I can use my other areas of the garden for other things. Um, I did put out, these are the strawberries that you guys saw me grow in the arrow garden. They are doing very well. I did come out and put out some bare root strawberries today that I got from Sam's Club. So they're in here. So you can't really see bare root strawberries. Um, let me see if I can show you one so this right here is the actual crown of the strawberry and then the roots are in the ground if you can see there that is the crown of the strawberry there these i think are some beans i'm just gonna let them grow um they reseeded themselves from last year so over here in my be grateful bed this is where my peppers are going to go we're starting the season off again with ants, but I'm going to deal with them. But I've kept this bed fertilized. I have carrots over here, and I actually did plant more carrots. So from this area down is where I'm going to have my peppers. Of course, you see my garlic and my onions are growing very well. And even the onions that I grew from seed are growing beautifully. You can tell the smaller ones are the ones that I got from Dixondale Farms and they were planted later. Over here, I'm going to plant tomatoes as well as sunflowers. So I'm going to have tomatoes and sunflowers in these beds over here. And then in that middle bed there, I'm going to have my squash. And then here, I'm going to keep this is going to stay my brassica bed i have new uh brassicas that will come and go out here and then on this trellis i want to plant i was going to plant butterfly pea on it i'm still thinking of doing that or either i'm going to plant it over there on that white trellis i think it's going to go on the white trellis but here i think i'm going to plant that zucchino squash and just let it trellis up here so that is the plan for right now um so i'm just out here kind of cleaning and working working and cleaning 
um it's always best to do it on a nice sunny day we are going to begin to have some cooler temperatures coming in um well coming back because we all know that it is still actually winter and so I'm not really worried about that. I don't have any items out here that'll be hurt by those um, temperatures. As you see, again, the strawberries are doing just fine. I do have some starts that I am going to up pot. Oh, here, guys, I meant to show you. I planted the lettuce from the arrow garden here as well as here, and my dog dug it all up. This one over here, I planted some dazzling blue kale. And then this is mint from last year. But, 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 but here are some of my starts so these are tomato starts and they're going to get up potted and put into cow pots um, my pimento peppers are going to get up potted and put into cow pots the stevia will be up potted the zucchino as well as the cucumbers will be up potted and then I'm going to sow some sunflower seeds as well. So that is what we will be accomplishing today. But I wanted to just take a little moment to stop and let you guys see what I had growing on. Um, oh, I want to show you the flowers. Here are some beautiful flowers. If you guys remember in this area here, I have my rose bush. I, I, back up. But I also planted some bulbs here and the bulbs are starting to show up little by little. And they're as pretty as can be. And over here by these rose bushes, I planted more bulbs. And of course the bees are out and loving everything. Remember I had that wood there. I'm gonna come back and plant some more flowers here. Um, my mom came and picked up that wood. So I was able to get that out of the way. Here are some more of those beautiful flowers. And they're just kind of showing up and doing their thing. Guys, don't fuss, but I didn't get to put my seeds in here, but they will get put in here today. And look at this. If you've never seen this before, isn't that crazy? The onions go into seed. So that's what that looks like. Oh, and finally I have some ginger popping its head out of the ground. And there's some more. And this whole bed here, that's what I have in here is ginger. And I just planted it during the winter and let it do it, let it do its thing. Now this lettuce is taking its sweet time, but again, I'm letting it do its thing. Um, you guys know that I had some germinating in the arrow garden. So I always try to keep seeds going in the arrow garden as well as in cups. So over here, in our harvest blessing bed, of course, we still have a few brassicas, but like I told you before, I'm gonna put more out. My starts over there are doing absolutely nothing, but it's okay, we still have time. But guys, thanks for coming along with me just for this quick, quick video. I was almost finished doing all my work and I was like, well, let me bring my people along. Maybe they wanna see what I have growing on or going to seed in the garden. So again, thank you guys for coming along. Thanks for hanging out with me. 
Remember, as always, get up, get out, and grow something. And please join us for the Soil Family Expo from March 31st to April the 2nd. Of course, I'll be there, yours truly, Food by Faith Garden to Table. And I will have many, many giveaways, many goodies there. Black Tropical will be there, and El Homestead, and so many more. Come along, guys, and have a good time with us.